Petzl is a European-based, family-owned company with an American subsidiary in Salt Lake City, Utah. We carry eight of their headlamps here at Gearful. Today, we're gonna go over the whole lineup. First and foremost, starting at the lowest lumen rating, you have the Petzl E-Light. That's an emergency headlamp. So where I would see using this would be carrying this in my bino harness. This is only gonna offer you 40 lumens at its max. And, however, it is going to have a red light function and a red light and white light strobe and a whistle in case of emergencies. It's also waterproof and it comes with a waterproof case that can slide pretty niftily into a bino harness. Next up, you have the Petzl Bindi. This one comes in at 44.95 and it weighs just a little bit over an ounce. Where I see using this is if you are hyper, hyper weight conscious, you can still get 200 lumens out of this headlamp and you're not going to add hardly anything into your pack weight. Next, let's talk about the Tikina, the Tika, and the Tika Core lineup. All three of these are going to take Petzl's Core lithium ion rechargeable battery or three AAA batteries. And what I really like about that is if you're somebody who's nervous about not being able to recharge your headlamp battery in the field, but you also like the benefits of having a lithium ion battery, you have the flexibility of both of those options. Now, starting with the Tekina, that's gonna come in at a price point of $24.95. That makes it the cheapest Petzl headlamp that we carry at Gear Fool. I personally wouldn't put this in my pack. The biggest reason being is that just jumping up by another $15 is going to give you a red light. It's gonna give you a light lock function, which is gonna ensure that you don't accidentally turn on that headlamp in your pack. And the Tika is also gonna give you a battery indicator. So jumping to the Tika and the Tika Core, the primary difference between these two is that the Tika Core is going to give you 450 lumens as opposed to 350 lumens with the Tika. And what makes it the Tika Core is that it comes already with the battery pack. All of these other headlamps do not come with Petzl's core battery pack um, included. You have to buy that separately. Tika Core is gonna be $59.95 and both of these glow in the dark. Moving on to the Aria lineup, the Aria 1 and 2. This is Petzl's headlamp that they designed specifically with the Hunter in mind. And so what you're gonna get that's different from the Tika or Tika Core you're gonna get a lot of the same features, including the fact that you can use three AAA batteries or the rechargeable core lithium ion battery pack. However, what you're going to get in addition is going to be added fall resistance, shock resistance, and water resistance with both the Aria 1 and Aria 2, making them the most durable headlamps in the Petzl lineup that we carry at Gear Fool. And they're going to give you a red, green, and blue light function. Now, what's important about that? The red light function is not going to be as readily observed by animals in the field. Because of the way the animals see on the color spectrum, that red light is going to allow you to sneak in or out of a space without disturbing wildlife as easily. They're gonna see that more as a gray. Why do you want a blue light? Blue light, if you're hunting in the snow, for instance, or hiking out in this really reflective, white, snowy areas, that blue light is not going to be jump back at you in such a way as to harm your eyes. You're actually gonna be able to see a lot better hiking out in the snow. And finally, with green, green makes red show up a little bit better. So having a green light function can actually help you while blood trailing an animal. Personally, I would go with the Aria 2. The difference between these two is only $20. This one's $39.95 and this one's $59.95. I think the Aria 2 is an excellent primary headlamp for a hunter. Finally, if you're somebody that wants a lot of lumens, the RL Swift is going to be a 900 lumen offering that we carry at Gear Fool. What's really cool about the RL Swift is it has this thing called reactive lighting. It's something designed specifically by Petzl. And essentially what it does is it gets a feed, it gets feedback, a readout when it's pointed towards any sort of reflective surface. And depending on how much feedback it's getting, it is going to adjust the brightness. What's unique about that is it's going to drastically extend the battery life of that headlamp over time. It makes it hard to measure exactly how many lumens you're going to get, but it's going to increase that battery life. The RL Swift is going to include a lot of the previously mentioned features like light lockability or a battery indicator. However, it's not gonna give you a red light mode and it's not going to take the core lithium ion battery pack 
or triple A's. It has its own rechargeable lithium ion battery pack, 2300 mAh. You can buy extra battery packs separately, but just keep that in mind. My final recommendation would be to run the E-Lite for emergencies tucked into that bino harness in case for whatever reason you have to drop your pack and you don't have access to your primary headlamp. Always having light on your body is gonna be really, really important in the field. And for my primary headlamp, I would recommend running with the Aria 2. I choose the Aria 2 because of its durability as compared to all the other headlamps in the Petzl lineup. And that 450 lumens for me is worth the extra 20 bucks that you're paying between the Aria 1 and the Aria 2. Check out the Petzl E-Lite and the Aria 2 and all the other headlamps mentioned in this video today at Gearful.com.